Now, you would think, you would think, all right, in this day and age, people would try to take things just a bit seriously. You'd think they'd try to take things just a little slow on how they perceive things or how when something happens, people won't try to jump to Twitter and say something absolutely fucking ridiculous that gets them ridiculed for it. You think people would try to be more careful considering the Covington situation. There's so many people jumped on a situation with a completely wrong mindset, judging from a edited clip. Okay, you think that everyone would just calm the fuck down. Everyone just calms the fuck down. Everyone would be fine. We'll look at the facts of the situation and we'll get over it. Or when someone says something stupid, you can just ignore it and move on with your life. Well, no, not to people at Rooster Teeth. And I'm talking about three particular people here. And this is one of them keeps popping up more frequently than the other two. But the other two more familiar to this line of discussion that I'm having right now. Ann Holm and Jen Brown and Miles Luna. And two of those right now, Miles Luna and Jen Brown. Because they said something. I meant to cover this when they tweeted this. But, you know, shit happened. But, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, they said some really stupid shit that was like extreme hot take. Okay, now Trump recently, this was, I cannot remember what day it was, but it was a few days ago or almost a week ago by this point. But Trump, you know, misspoke speaking about a place where border walls have worked and he misspoke, and instead of saying San Diego, like apparently he was supposed to be trying to say, he said uh, San Antonio, Texas. Now, if you know me, I'm a Texan. And guess what? I love San Antonio. Guess what it has there? The Alamo. The most Texian symbol that you can get outside of the Lone Star, the Lone Star flag. Okay? Like, oh my god. San Antonio is such a wonderful fucking city, and despite the fact that it's run by Democrats, it's not a terribly run city. It's not... Like shit. They actually do well over there. Despite the fact that I do disagree vehemently with some of the policy. But it's not a bad city. I like the city. I've been there more than a few times. Every time I go there, I have a wonderful time. Especially going around the Alamo. Well, Trump, you know, he misspoke. He was trying to say that San Antonio has a wall and it doesn't have a wall. And, you know, you would rightly say, well, that was pretty fucking stupid. But Jake Tapper clarified that, hey, he was trying to be talking about San Diego, or at least one California city that's near the border that has a wall that works. And then, of course, he had that whole debacle with Jim Acosta, where he was like, oh, I'm at a place where it has a border wall, and I'm basically proving that it works, but I'm trying not to because I'm an idiot, and I'm basically giving Trump free, uh, free points. But uh, there was quite a few hot takes on that one. Now, this quote from Miles Luna. Now, this starts off pretty well, and I'm going to read the first part of the quote. He says, Ah, yes, I have fond childhood memories of going to visit the great San Antonio Wall. So beautiful, so secure. Like, people talk about the Alamo, but nah, man, that wall, that wall that's always been up there, that's what's up. It's like, okay, that's a funny joke. Okay, that's funny. I admit, I kind of chuckled. I kind of chuckled. As much as I want the guys at Rooster Teeth to stay out of politics, you know, that's not a bad joke. I'm not getting on to them for that. The next part, though, this next one sentence is what set me off. Dot, 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 I really hope this racist is sent to prison one day. Okay, then. That's a bit of a hot take, don't you think? More than a bit of a hot take. You're based on the context of what this is, because there's no other context I have for this. You are basically saying Trump should go to prison, not just for apparently being a racist, which he's not. But he has to go to prison because he said some stupid shit and he regularly says stupid shit all the time. Really? Really? Like, there's no way you're serious. And honestly, at first I was like, okay, he's being serious. Or is being really facetious and he's good at hiding it. But like, when I first read it, I was like, what the hell were you doing? Like, what are you talking about? But, you know, as time passed, I was like, okay. He's probably kidding. He's probably fucking kidding. All right, you, you can't just call for the jailing of people for wrong thing. All right, and he could just be kidding. 
And that's, you know, I was giving him the benefit of the doubt for that until Jen Brown tweeted something similar. And it's almost the same exact tweet where it's like, we've both been to San Antonio and he's saying stupid shit and we're going to make fun of him for it. But then they also end it on the same thing is he needs to go to jail because he's a racist. And so she, Jen Brown said, I'm going to bed, but as someone who grew up in San Antonio, I can guarantee you there's no damn wall there. Can we please put this sexist, lying racist in jail already? Yeah. Calling for the jailing of very political opponents because they say shit you disagree with and say regularly stupid shit all the time. Like, what's the deal here? Okay? Like, wow. That is extremely immature to just call for him to be jailed. All right? Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez supports anti-Semitic people at the Women's March. You don't call for her to be jailed. I don't call for her to be jailed. I call for her to shut the fuck up and get away from it if she wants to save her career. But I don't call for Trump to be put in jail because he said regularly stupid shit all the fucking time. Unless he need, there is an actual reason. Like he actually colluded with Russia, which there is no evidence of. He does not deserve to go to jail just because he says stupid shit. Unless he does something that's actually super illegal and goes beyond what Clinton did, then he definitely deserves to be impeached and put in prison. But that's not a thing that has happened yet. So what you're essentially saying is he should just go to jail for wrong thing. You know how Orwellian that sounds? Do you know how fucking Orwellian that sounds? All right, and I I fucking I fucking tweeted this too. I was just I, like, I quote tweeted her and I said, I'm a moron who thinks wrong thing by public official is punishable by prison time. Rooster Teeth has gone Orwellian. And I spelled it wrong, but... You know, apparently... You know, autocorrect doesn't work on Google phones as much as it does on... A Microsoft Word document, because Orwellian is apparently supposed to be spelled with two L's, not one L. But, what are you gonna do? But, yeah! You know how Orwellian that sounds? You have very influential people. Blue check marks on Twitter, also. Calling for the jailing of the President of the United States... Not for doing anything specifically illegal, just for apparently either being a racist or saying stupid shit or both. How, how immature is that? Okay, and this is coming from the same people that said, oh, Clinton shouldn't have been impeached. Or that, well, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez says so many great things and she's such a hero. Okay, okay, allow me to flip the script on you. Again, I'm going to go to Cortez. I don't want to talk about this lady. She says stupid shit. She does stupid shit. So here's my thing. So Trump said some stupid shit, but he mostly backs down from them unless he has a point to make. Okay? Because he does have points that he does make. And when he has something that is right, he will not lie about it. But when he is doing something that is wrong, he will mostly do it purposefully. Though a lot of times I do think it comes off as incompetence because he is incompetent some way. But... You have Ocasio-Cortez. She does the same shit. Are you told Trump he supports the KKK? You say that Trump supports the KKK? He doesn't do that. All right, he may have been flaunting around with the alt-right just a bit too closely during the election and after Charlottesville, but Ocasio-Cortez is literally allied with anti-Semites. And you're not, and you support her, Jen Brown. I see you like her fucking tweets all the time. Miles Luna, you probably do too. Barbara Dunkelman, Ashley Jones, or if I'm, if, if I'm, right, you all support her. All right, and Barbara Dunkelman liked those tweets, or at least one of those tweets. I think she liked Miles' tweet. You know how hypocritical you are? That, that's not only showing how fucking hypocritical you are and where your biases lay. You are also basically giving in to the Orwellian way of thinking, where if you think wrong, if you don't do as, do as what we say and what we do or follow what we do, then you deserve to go to prison. Okay? Now, you could be joking. All right? I'm, I'm leaving at that. All right? I'm giving you somewhat of the benefit of the doubt. But with two of you saying nearly the exact same fucking thing... I can't say that that's not coincidence, but it is coincidence, but I can't say that it's not something that can be taken as a joke lightly. Okay, that is, those are very, two very similar and very different.
damaging statements to make. Okay? And this is also, we're also coming off of the, oh, people getting laid off at HuffPo because these opinion piece, pieces people, these op-ed people aren't actually journalists and they're doing a really shitty job and that's why they're losing all their jobs. And because, oh my God, we're losing money because these people keep fucking shit up. Yeah. You're going to say that. You're just going to say that. I mean, this was before all this, that this stuff with Jim Brown and Miles was before all this, by the way, but still. This just shows you that the ideological mindset of some of Rooster Teeth's highest employees, okay? Miles Luna, he's like a head writer for half their shit. Jim Brown, one of their like, most important actresses. Barbara Dunkelman's been there for a long time. Ann Holm, also, in response to the Covington thing, I know I showed this in my video over the whole Covington situation, but... You know, shared around a fucking seven second clip with no context and don't even know if those were the actual boys that were sitting there at that at at the Lincoln Memorial. There were just a few guys sitting in the bench with apparently red hats. She's like, girl, same. I'm so tired, too. It's like, oh, wow. Wow. Did you not even bother trying to look for the facts and everything? It's fucking disgusting. It's fucking disgusting, ignorant and just downright lazy. That you will literally find any excuse to not deviate from your mindset for two fucking seconds. Even if the facts d- contradict everything, you refuse to look them up and refuse to apologize. That is fucking ignorant. It's disgusting. It's pitiful. Right, this is all my message to all the people who did this shit alongside them and refused to apologize. Reza Oslan, you fucking hypocritic dicks. Dick sucking motherfuckers. Okay? Apologize to these fucking kids if you did that. And then Miles Luna and Jen Brown, shut the fuck up. Get the fuck off Twitter. You have no idea what the hell you're talking about. Okay? You can make good jokes occasionally. You can post stuff about rooster teeth and how much it's growing. But keep your ideological bullshit to yourself. Shut the fuck up and improve your craft. Because if you don't improve your craft and you keep delving down into this ideological mindset and you just like increase it tenfold over the next year Rooster Teeth's gonna go get woke go broke because that's basically what you're doing you've already been broke woke and I think it was basic you're basically a meme where it's like when you're one of those companies that is woke but hasn't gone broke yet you're gonna get woke and go broke soon enough that's my message to you so anyway, thank you guys for listening. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I don't want to cover Rooster Teeth. I don't. I don't want to cover Rooster Teeth as much as I do, but they keep saying the stupidest fucking shit. People who work there, people who are running it. Okay? People who work on the craft that they are trying to produce. And they keep fucking it up by, you know... Doing all this stupid shit on Twitter. It's just ridiculous.